All right. Uh, last time uh, we did uh, auto sample forecasting, so, right? And then we measured the uh, predictive accuracy by using the uh, posterior predictive density, so, right? Yes, yeah, so, and this is the uh, posterior predictive density. Okay, and then I want to report this density, and then yeah, in terms of the log, okay, bracket here, log posterior predictive density is comma here num two string number two string log log of predictive density here here and bracket and again here okay yeah okay then okay so then also the i want to report the uh here the uh, realized realized okay realization station is number two string so so what here where is it here realize yf realize to yf oh bracket and then there must be bracket here and here yeah also the let's report the uh, forecast 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 mean here just the uh, posterior mean of the predictive distribution posterior posterior mean posterior predictive mean is just mean C or mean or mean C whatever what this here okay right and uh, let's report the uh, credibility intervals intervals or say 90 percent 90 percent credibility intervals and how to compute the credibility intervals credibility intervals mm, intervals is quantile of what quantile of what y capital t1 m and here 0 0.05 and 0.95 this is quantile right let's run this again yes mm, why I can see only one here you should be there must be two lower and upper why I can see only one there must be a comma here let me try again and F9 hmm, still why let me see this uh, quantile open quantile or help on quantile There must be a uh, help because this is a built-in function. Yeah. Function. Right. Hmm. OK. 
Kate Pen on. Right. Why I can see only okay, me. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, there was. Yeah, sorry. Here, this one. Yeah, no mean. Right, and then see, I see. Then let me run this again. Yeah, here we go. Minus 5.8 to 6.9, uh, 6.5962, right? So the, the, uh, and then this is in 90% credibility intervals, and there, here is the realized value, right? Okay, uh, yeah, so this is forecast, and realization is minus 2.48, right? And PPD is here, okay? That's it, right? That's it. Right. Okay. And let's see. Okay. So again, the uh, as I told you, uh, predictive accuracy is totally relative. So there must be a benchmark, or see there there must be another another model to be compared, right? So then we are going to try. Uh, we are going to try with uh, interest rate differential between these two countries. Currently, we have two interest rates, right? Korean interest rate and US interest rate. Now we are going to try the, the uh, interest rate term and Korean interest rate minus US interest rate. Okay, let me save this as here, mother M2, yeah. Okay, so then here let me now the now the uh, independent variable is Korean interest rate minus U.S. interest rate. Okay, so right, yeah, and let me run this. Uh, okay, before I forget this, minus two point five. 381. Okay. And then let's run it. Oops, there's a uh, error here. Okay. Let me create line 36. Line 36 here. Wow, yeah, I can see that. So here you see that. Uh, here, dimension to not match, so, right? Because here, X capital T1 is what? 3 by 1. What about beta? Beta is, you will see that this must be 2 by 1. Okay. Okay, here. Beta is 2 by 1 because we have two regressors, so, right? So then, here x here this is the uh, independent variables which is used for forecasting right now here there are there are two interest rates right not interest rate differential between these two countries right so then it must be uh, it should be uh, why is that? Uh, it should be here. It should be um, no. I'll say yeah. Not this one. So this second column. No, the first column of x zero is Korean interest rate. The second column is the uh, second column of x zero, not data, is the U.S. interest rate. Yes. This is interest rate differential. Right. Okay, let me try now. Yep. 
Yeah. Here, log PPD is now minus 2.5986, right? Or very close, right? Very close. You can't tell much difference between these two models forecasting performance, right? Okay, right. And then what if, what if you want to try, you want to try uh, no regressors, even, even in the interceptions. So you want to try no regressors. There is no independent variables. So no, there is no, there is no intercept term and there is no time varying covariance. How can you do that? Of course, of course, you, you, you may, you can, you can change this code, right? So that, so that there is no X. There's, there's one way. And another way is Actually, this is more efficient. Another way, just change your prior. How? What does it mean by no regressors? No regressors means what? Coefficient on x are, are zeros, right? Coefficient on intercept term is zero, and coefficient on this interest rate differential is zero, right? So then, how could you how could you impose such such restriction? How can you do that? You can do that by changing your prior. How? Prior mean is zero. And variance is what? Currently variance is nine. But if the variance is now point zero 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 nine, right? So then this is very, very strong prior for beta. So that the beta estimates should be so close zero, then then you can you can tell it's, it's just zero, right? And then let me try. Just remember that this the uh, log PPD is minus two point uh, just minus two point six. I would say minus two point six. And then let me try. Right. You can see that it's it's better, a bit better. Previously it was minus two point six. Now minus 2.47 this is bigger minus 2.47 is bigger than minus 2.6 so no regressors no regress is preferred to this uh this uh this model with uh this uh independent variables right okay so and let me go back to the previous version okay here Okay, right. Okay, so the, anyway, please try this the model two, model two, okay, model two. So then you can say that just model one and model two are just compatible, and in this in this particular time point, in this particular time point, right? So this uh. In case of forecasting, uh, forecasting where, forecasting, uh, forecasting here, uh, forecasting January two thousand twelve. In forecasting, in forecasting here, in forecasting January two thousand twelve, then model one and model two are very similar. Okay, they are almost identical. But in this case. The no the, the model with no regressors can be can be uh, seems to be pre preferred to these model one and two, okay, and please try this code. Okay, okay, let me move this further. Okay.